Hi everyone, John W. Quinn here, the author of Someone Like Me. Time for my weekly video blog. You know, in Someone Like Me, I talk about the death of my brother Stephen, who committed suicide 24 years ago today, uh, April the 23rd. I wanted to talk a little bit about about it, and because I don't think people talk about suicide enough, I don't think talk, they don't. People don't talk about the impact that suicide has on, on the people around them enough. And I wanted to share a story with you that uh, I was going to write and put in the book, but it just didn't make it. So I'm going to tell it to you now. I, in April of 87, as I write about it in Someone Like Me, I was home on leave from the Navy. And uh, as it was often done I was hanging out with my buddy Phil I was at Phil's house me and Phil were watching this movie called the Warriors now if you haven't seen the Warriors you gotta go see this movie I mean you gotta you gotta rent it download it whatever it's a great great flip but about halfway through the movie and I can't remember if anybody else was was there with us if my brother Michael was there or not but uh, my brother Steve rolls in on his motorcycle now, he, I remember he rode up on the, on the sidewalk and uh, parked, parked the motorcycle right next to the porch and came in. And we're watching this movie together, and uh, at the end of the, the movie, The Warriors, uh, the song In the City starts to play. And Steve says, oh, that's a great eagle song. I said, no, Steve, that's it's done by Jill Walsh. He goes, no, that's, that's done by the Eagles. I said, well, no, it's done by Joe Walsh. He goes, I'll bet you five bucks. I said, you got it. So we're watching the credits roll, and of course, Joe Walsh sang In the City. And I'm laughing. I said, you owe me five bucks. <laughs> and, and Steve's laughing. He goes, I'll get you tomorrow. I'll get you tomorrow. And... Uh, well, the next morning, Stephen committed suicide. And uh, every time I hear a jo every time I hear that damn song, I think of my brother, and and I smile because he still owes me five bucks. So, you know, I hope this story illustrates the impact that suicide has, not only on on, of course, the person committing the act, but the circle of people around that individual and how it just ripples outward and affects so many lives, so many lives. So if you're someone who is maybe listening to this and, and is at the end of your rope and you don't think you can go on another day, maybe you're someone who's been left at, picked on and bullied Maybe you're a veteran of Iraq or Afghanistan coming back and you can't get the images of what you've seen out of your mind. Maybe you're just alone and uh, don't think that anybody cares for you. I want you to stop. I want you to think about my brother. And I want you to think about the impact that uh, I, st I continue to deal with. Uh, Every day, there, there's not a moment that, that goes by that I don't think about Steve. You know, I, and, and in the 24 years since his passing, my emotions have gone from pure anger to disappointment to now it's just sadness. I mean, he was 26 years old, you know, and, and as I write about it. He could charm the skin off a snake, and I miss him, and I miss him. So if you're if you're listening to this, stop and, and, and think, and know that there is hope, and please get help. Please get help. Uh, there is somebody that loves you that will miss you if you're if you're gone, and uh, I just wanted to pass that along. Again, because I don't, I don't think that people 
talk about suicide and the impact of, of suicide on, on so many people. So that's what's on my mind this week. Uh, hope you guys are having a good week. Uh, my name is John Quinn. I'm the author of Someone Like Me. Check out my website, johnwquinn.com. Let's talk again next week. Take care. Bye-bye.